The Aging and Avatars project's aim is to use participatory research methods to develop technologies that help older adults who may be socially isolated to participate in social activities. To help with this aim, we've created two technology explorer circles, which are groups of older adults aged 17 and above, who are working with us to trial ways that virtual reality technology and avatars can be used to facilitate meaningful social interactions in virtual worlds. For this first stage of the project, we've created a bespoke virtual environment where the technology explorers can meet and have conversations using avatars they've created themselves. Virtual avatars are characters that can be used to represent the older adult in a virtual environment. Importantly, we're working with the technology explorers to develop avatars that best represent their needs, and we're researching new interaction techniques that will allow older adults to use natural gestures to control their avatars. Research suggests that some older adults can become socially isolated due to concerns about their physical appearance or because of a physical disability. Avatars allow an older person to choose the way they'd like to represent themselves in a virtual environment, and this offers the opportunity to transcend these barriers to social participation. It's estimated that about one in five older Australians is socially isolated. Some of the research has suggested that it's equivalent to smoking 15 cigarettes a day or um, drinking a whole bottle of wine a day or being extremely obese in terms of its health outcomes. What we're hoping to achieve long term is that even people who can't get out have access to other human contact. The Microsoft Centre for Social Nui is uh, primarily interested in, in human interactions and in interactions between people and how to augment them, strengthen them, nurture them through emerging technologies. Healthy ageing is very important to our time at the moment. Um, it's clearly a concern to all of us, not just in Australia but worldwide. There is an important role for technology to ensure that as we age, as people get older, they're sufficiently engaged, they're sufficiently empowered, they're sufficiently able to be connected with each other and with the world broadly. More and more older people are taking up social media, but the advantage of uh, virtual reality is that it also gives you privacy and anonymity. We're actually engaging them in a kind of co-design process, I guess, so that we can make sure that it's accessible, not only from a cost perspective, but actually from a um, technical perspective. Our software runs on a number of commercial VR headsets and uses a Microsoft Connect motion sensing camera to allow the older adults to control their avatar's movements and use natural body gestures in the virtual environment. As the project progresses, we aim to develop and test a range of virtual environments and interaction techniques specifically developed to suit the needs of older adults. We are conducting monthly workshops throughout the project where the technology explorers will help us to design and evaluate technology that aims to encourage social participation. The technology explorers will also play a vital role in participating in a field trial to evaluate the final prototype system. There are so many things out there that are designed for older people but where nobody's actually asked or consulted or engaged with older people around their use. They really love it and really engage with it and are really grateful in a way to be part of a co-design process so they can have input, their voices can be heard. You certainly lose yourself completely, which is an interesting experience. After each session I tend to go away and get on the internet and uh, explore a bit further. It's not just the sessions, I feel that gives you ideas that you can go away and explore further. I think it's going to be a real necessity to be on top of some technology for healthy ageing, otherwise I think we're going to be isolated from so much of what goes on in the world around us now. If we can work and help in the development of something that's much easier to use and people can see a real purpose for it, then that'll be good. I didn't know, for example, what an avatar was. I didn't know what virtual reality really was. I didn't know how you used virtual reality goggles. I think it's enormously beneficial technology that can be used phenomenally to help people. The fact that they can talk to other people and communicate on other people, even if it's on a tropical island like we did this morning, would be enormously helpful and give them something to look forward to.